they come across this dancing Santa who is like going, get out, get out. Woody, I have a question. Um, well, actually not just one, I have all the questions. Just the idea of doing a fourth one was a hard to wrap my head around. And the, uh, the third one ended such a great way. Love the ending of that movie. But um, when Andrew Stanton kind of came to me and said, look, I have an idea. The, third, the end of the third one is the end of Woody's time with Andy, but it's not the end of Woody's story. Once, once I thought of it from, a, from that point of view, I realized, oh, there, this is different because he's in a new room new kid, he doesn't know, he's never, we've never seen him in this position before. So there was something there that kind of really sparked my interest. Yeah, there was one, we had a, um, a you know those dancing Santa Claus things that just do this, you know? Um, we had a, that character when Woody and Bo were going into the antique store, they were talking about how scary it is and, and Bo, um, they come across this dancing Santa who is like going, get out, get out. And then Woody comes close to him to, for information and it sets off his dancing, uh, you know, the motion detector. And so he's warning them of how dangerous this place is as he's dancing to Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame I didn't make it. I know, it was, it was a killer joke. It, it, was, a, a, it was a favorite in, in the studio. <laughs> Highlight of my career. Those guys, we um, signed them on early. They came on pretty early. And so the story was still changing and, and fluxing. But um, they uh, they were wonderful. We always recorded the two of them together. Yeah. Hey, you are a I don't care bear. You know, what I'm <laughs> you know, you know they they've worked together for so long mm -hmm. that they can look at each other and kind of know what the other person's gonna do or say. It's it's mind reading, and so we I would watch them. I kind of give them an, here's the scene, and they would read it, and then we do a bunch of versions where they're just adding on top of it and just making it. Uh, richer and richer and there was so much we had to just we couldn't use because it would be the movie would be four hours long it'd be hilarious but it'd be four <laughs> hours long and uh, they could improvise there's a song that they sing in the, in the movie they improvise that on the spot it's unreal well Buzz has never been the the, the sharpest tool in the shed <laughs> um, and that's I think that's partly why Tim Alan loves playing him so much is that he, he does lean into that so well. Mm -hmm. And so um, we knew, we didn't want to do anything like we've done before where he kind of goes crazy and turns into a different type of buzz. This felt like more of a genuine buzz moment of having him realize what an inner voice is and kind of think, oh, I just press this button. And <laughs> I can hear my thoughts. My first cinema memory, I think it, the first one I have is watching E.T. with my parents from 1984. I think it might be the first movie I went to. And uh, I mean, it was powerful. I mean, you know, it's E.T., so uh, it's a good one. Oh, they're so, this is why I love working at Pixar. Every film is different. There's nothing that feels the same. And so that's a very hard question. I'll just say the first Toy Story. My name is Woody. This is my spot. Ah! Because it's, I watched, we watched it so many times working on this film. We watched, watched one, two, and three in a row just to make sure we're not, you know, copying anything or making it feel like the characters are, are going backwards in any way. So, but I can, that film, the, specifically the staff <clears throat> meeting at the very beginning. Hello, check, that better? Great. Everybody hear me? I think it's genius. Yeah. It's establishing the world and the characters in such a clean way that it's so much fun. I don't know. Please. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so happy with the end of this film. Um, I think it completes Woody's arc in a really nice way. Um, yeah, I, I think I want to try something original next. You know, I've, I've bounced between sequels and original films before. They each have their challenges and uh, in different ways, but uh, I think I'm ready for an original one. I was made to help a child. I don't remember it being this hard. Woody, somebody's whispering in your ear. 